Today we're making shepherd's pie and I need your sisters for this long and months of me how to make it. So I'm going to make it by homemade. So first of all, half, what's it? Half? Water or what water? You're going to cut, you're going to mash, hang on. Don't do anything yet, you're going to... Two potatoes each. Yeah. To count out six potatoes. Yeah. Two. But first, I need to peel them before putting them in the big pan. Put that back in the fridge. Can you stop messing around? Yeah. Put them in the fridge. As you peel each potato, yeah. don't need them yet. In case you wonder, it's Christmas soon. Brussels sprouts are now in stores. I buy some. Beat 78. <coughs> I can eat 78 sprouts. And tell you one thing, you might need your windows over with me. Oh, honestly. It's dangerous. <laughs> anyway, back to work. Peel right. the potatoes, yeah? Peel the potatoes and put each potato in the water to give it a wash. Yeah, I'm going to peel them now. So, we're going to chop the potatoes. Okay, we're going to do it. Sound like an old man, then. So, I've got six here, so this might be a while. If you use your thing, that's it, hold the potato. Show you an easy way of doing it. That's it. The expert knows. If you hold it with like a thumb to keep the potato, you'll get a firmer, nice. So you use a bit more control. The muscles all know all how to do around, it. All the way around the edge. And then do the top. So I'm always using my thumb. This is my to cooking show. Potato boy. steady. So I've peeled all the potato, and then I'm going to put that one just in cold water to give it a wash. In the sink to all be sorted. Right, so that's it. You don't need the oven on, by the way. Why did you just tell me to put it on then? No, I didn't. Well, you obviously did because you're going you... to make it now. And then it will get reheated in the oven later. Right. Well, you didn't mention that. We well, don't need to put it in till tea time. You cook everything. You cook it twice, so to speak. I know it just takes a bit of time, but this peeler is so old. We need a new one, I think. It's my favourite peeler. Yeah, but it's old now. The new ones are quicker than these ones. Get you one for Christmas then. No, nah, Christmas. Yeah, I'll give you a potato peeler in your Christmas stocking. Oh god, now you said that. Now he'll buy you one in your Christmas stocking. She'll probably buy a pair of knickers for this Christmas. Yep. I'm looking forward to Spyro because that comes up. Don't actually. put your potato peeler in your knickers or you might end up with a oh. With a, oh you yeah. might end up peeling your parsnip off. <laughs> I'm gonna end this. I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Carry on! Well, I want my last potato and hopefully once we've done all the potatoes you put it in a sink with water to stop making it brown because otherwise it won't look good when you eat them and cook them as well so it's basically just to keep the potatoes in nice and good condition here we go we are getting somewhere This is going to be a long session. Once you put it in, like I said, put it in a water in a single bowl just to keep the potatoes nice and colour for how it looks now. Because if it goes brown, it's not going to look good, doesn't it? Unless you do it, then yeah, do whatever you want. But this is how it should be done. Right, that's it. Let's put this in the thing. And then the next step I will show you next. Once you've done a peel, the peeler for the potatoes go in the bin. And the next thing is get the potatoes out the sink. 
because it's now freshly ready to be chopped. Is that right? Yes. Right, what you're going to do is try chopping them into four. Yep. So do like a cross like that. Half, yep. Yeah. So that they're like peanuts now. Very good. And then a cross so that you've got nice size like that. Yeah. Put them in there. Right then, let's do that then. So. Yeah, that's. Uh, what happens next? Then put water in, yep. Put a bit of salt as well and water. Yep. Make sure with, yeah. with sharp knives, make sure you don't rush it too quickly because, especially first time, don't rush it because you don't look like a professional and chef. And all these potatoes are the same size, so the potatoes you cut up will be the same size, but sometimes. You might have a potato that's bigger. Make sure that when you cut it up, all the potato bits are about the same size. There we so go. add a little bit of salt. Salt! You can take your, that's it. That's there it. You go. That's it. Add some water. Add some water. Slowly. That's it. A little bit more. People can't see. A bit, a bit less water than that. Get up. Yep, that's about right. That's better. Sorry guys, you didn't see that. There we go. Want to clean the bottom? Bad. Not me. Always wipe the bottom. Dirty one. Right, you can put that on to boil. Boil how many? How many? Put it on to number six or eight. And I would suggest, oopsie, putting a lid on it to keep the water in. Because water boils over and makes a mess. Yep. I think that's it though, isn't it? That's it, don't do anything else until the potatoes are boiled. So listen out for it. Ding! Well, there you go, it's already. I'm going to show you something. If you poke the potato with a knife, see what it feels like. It feels like... It feels quite firm, yeah? Yeah. When it's cooked, it will be really soft. It will need to boil for about 20 minutes before it gets soft. You hear that? 20 minutes. If you want to, you can start cutting up some carrots. Don't do the onions yet, or your. <laughs> I think I've got no onions. Or. No, we've got no onions. We have got onions. Tell you what you could do. Yeah. Are you doing one thing at a time? Carrots and onions. We've got pota ca uh, apple to do for the pudding. You do the apple after. You do yeah. it separate, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't worry. But just, just have a bit of a rest now till that's boiled. Yeah. See you half now. So. You brown the mince and the onion in a large pan. So you cook it all in one pan together. Yeah. Then you drain off any excess fat. So basically once the cut the onions and that, you then put it through the sieve. Yeah. Okay. Then you mix in the mince, add the carrots and the peas. Yeah. Right. So basically, right, so you cook the onions and that first. Yeah. Then you add the carrots, the peas, and this mache, this sachet. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you need to add water. Um, <coughs> so you've got potato mix, lean beef, one Excuse onion, me. 300 mils of cold water. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Two carrots, well you use all the carrots, the peas, and the mashed potatoes, okay? Yeah. Right. Let's do it. Got my protections on because I need to do the onions. Now, now let's peel it off if I can get this off. Oh, it's disgusting. And now I need to wash my hands again. Part two, let's carry on. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Good boy, Mr. Fluffy Head. Bit weird for a cat's name, isn't it? Luckily, I didn't name that one. Junior, well, I actually named him. Junior loved the name. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the world of nutters. Right, 
that's it. That's all the main things. So I'm going to slice the onions to bits now. So in case you know how to do the onions, I'm going to show you again. Oh, for heaven's sake. So I've got a very itchy nose today. I don't know why, but it happens to be one of those days. Right, here we go. Onions. Make sure both ends are chopped, because I forgot about that. Yeah, just make sure both ends of the onion, like you do with carrots, just make sure that both ends are off, and then off you go. So once I slice from one end to the other, just do the same for the other side. To be honest, this knife is not really ideal. Hang on a second. Here we go. Start again. Well, that's your first one. Oh, crikey. Some big lumpy things for some reason. Do a while, they're just so massive. Well, like this one, for example. I'll tell you what I'm thinking about onions. They smell good, but it gets your eye so much, it's ridiculous. Right, on to the next one. Make sure you put oil, uh, oil onto the onions as well because it gives them more flavour then. It's just a good way for winter eating as well, so in case you want to eat something healthy and nice, then, I don't know if it's really healthy, but the onions now are. Sometimes I like to go back to school and learn these things because they are the important start of life. Buying things by handmade already is just like, it's too simple to... People think, oh, it's good though, it just saves me cooking. I'm like, well, fair enough, but for me, no. It's about trying to do something to keep you busy for the next few hours. And plus, you never know what flavour tastes the difference as well. Right, on to the last bit. Right then, that's it, I'm going to put this in now and let's go to the next step. Next bit is bringing the onions along. Now I can take this off because I survived from the onions and add them in now in low temperature. So, it's, oh, whoops, I fully open it. What are you doing back then? And there's a mince I need to take out as well, so. Oh, you're not ACDC. But anyway, I need to slice this down because it's quite... Have you got the water, the paper bit off the back? Yeah, that's sorted, yeah. So I need to... Oh, it will, cut, it will sort itself out, Dominic. You don't need to do that. I hope you've washed your hands. I did. Oh, look, we've got a new drink today. Raspberry and peach flavour. Peach no. and raspberry. But this is not to do with Mint Shepherd's Pie, whatever it's called. Right, would you like to wear the little devil ears now? No, because I've been to ACDC concert, ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know, I went to ACDC 2015 at Wembley, and it's probably one of the best concerts I've been to. And, uh, yeah, where was I? And, uh, I've been to NGP, actually, they've got noise. Just bring it on, is that one, that one's a small one, isn't it? Yeah, oh, bugger. 
you could bring it onto this front one that's a bit bigger. There we go. Put it on there. Grab a little spoon. Yeah. And one of these spoons will do nicely. And then you can just mash that down a bit. Good, good just separate it a bit. Right, now think... this is where you might want to open the Don't... window. Push that one open. What's the cat doing? Is he up there again? He's fine. Okay. Can I open? Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, back to cooking session. Now it's all. I don't know, let's see. Haha, there you go. I've got to take this off because I've got a white bone now. So now it's all in it. Onions are minced together, so you just give it good. Right, now just let it heat up. Yep. It begins to bubble, but don't let it burn at the bottom. No, nah, so just make it into cubes to make it more different. So. Right, just leave it with and the, let it do it on its own. Yeah, with the onions, you'd have to put. It doesn't say on the recipe for uh, olive oil, but with onions, I normally would. If you just stir it together, you'll get oil out of the mince. Yeah. That's it. You'll, you'll stir it. That's fine. Now, just leave it. The oil will come out of the mince and will help to cook the onion. And that's it for now. Now, every now and then, just keep the mince nice and steady with the onions so it gets all the fat out. Exactly. See you in there. Need to mix it all up. Oh god, the onions have got my eyes. Good, mate. Looks so far so good, I think. So yeah, the most important thing: make sure potatoes are peeled, and make sure it's in the boiling water. Put it for half an hour boil. Then once it's already, mash it up, and um, see what happens from there. But it won't be too long now. And then we'll see what other products I need to produce on this episode. But I think, at the moment, it's looking very good. So, that's the main thing. It's all looking good. Onions with mince looks smashing. So if you've got any suggestions what I should do for this future episodes on my YouTube channel before theme parks from March, Throw them down below, col column or uh, comments below. If I get if I get my words right, if you want to see any ingredients that you want to see from me, comment below and have a look. And I will look into it hopefully. But right now it's about what I can do the basics and looking to do research for it in the future. Oh crikey, making a mess already. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, what's there? Right, so put the potato, yeah. pour it all down so that you catch the potato but the water goes down the sink. <coughs> oh, smells. Stop me. It smells of potato. Right, when all the water's gone, put it back in the saucepan. I'm back in there, yeah? Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's a bit warm in this house. Alright, cover it back up with the saucepan. Oh, that's warm. Good. That is quite hot. And just put it on here, basically. We'll just leave it to the side. Now we're going to sort out the rest of the mince. So cut your carrots. Yeah, carrots next. Oh. Let's do all the carrots. And remember, kids, all ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're watching this, wash them before we chop them. I think we're ready to go. Right, peel it. Here we are. Oh, I'll bring this up a little bit, a bit easier. So peel the carrots and then chop both ends once you've done them. That's the easiest thing I can say, really. Cut the carrots, do 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 do. Cut the carrots, do 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 do. Cut the carrots. What well, they got a song of that as well? Carrot, do 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 do. Cut the carrot, do do do. Mum, is that seriously a song? Well, it is now. It's annoying. Where'd you find that? I didn't. I just made it up. Cut the carrot, do 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 do. Cut the carrot, do 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 do. Cut the carrot, do 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 do. Chop it hard, do 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 do. Chop it hard. That is quite annoying. It is annoying. Yeah, so sharp. Ooh. There you go, that's one, chop ends. Obviously mum loves that baby shot. Not the sharp, sharpest um, knife. 
When you've chopped the carrots, yeah. put them in this bowl. Yeah, so after so, picking them, I'll can't get the words right. Use this knife to cut them with. Yeah, not facing my eye, thank you. But I'm going to carry on and chop them up. So slicing foreskin off. So we're going to add the peas first, because that's ready. And then carrots, now I've sliced it, it's time to bring it over. Some peas still here. Oh, is that? Yeah. Oh, so that's all the carrots I slice, shreds, and quarters. Off we go. Oh. Tomato sauce after that, I think. You need to show people the packet mix just to explain that all your herbs and gravy and that are all mitt and seasonings all mixed up in there. There you go. Show them. Yep. There you go. Yum, yum, it's yum. the only cheap bit and it's only really the herbs and the gravy. And that's the recipe there and blah blah blah. Right, open that up. Oh, we do that, yeah. Open it up and pour it all in. Let's try and spread it out nicely. And then you've got to add 300 ml of cold water. Good. Yes, I can smell it. There we go. Check that out. Yum, yum, yum. It's some. Not now. That's how it should be done. Right, have you added it all? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, add the water. You've got 300 mils, 100 mils in that one. What? Oh, in that into one? Into there, into the saucepan. Oh, this one? Both of them. A bit too much in this one. I can't believe we had this in Steve was born. <laughs> how much is that one? I might need a little bit more. Alright, so I've got to put this in. And then give it a stir and put the heat on again. Put it on to about number four. That's it, number four. Yep. Yeah. You could even boil it now. Oh yeah, I can see it. Excuse me, we're not going to sneeze. Stay like, don't leave us in the kitchen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, nicely caught on video about hygiene there, Dominic. Yes, always wash your hands after you sneezed, because you don't want to add any little green extra bits to it. Green peas is enough in this situation. Ah, that's hot. I'm going to talk you through this process. I'm just stirring it to help mix in all the ingredients. Dominic's just being a bit silly in the background. He's dancing, he's pole dancing with a step ladder. I don't have a step like that. And he's using the tea towel as a whip. Ow! Ooh! Dirty. I think he's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Stop. Ho, ho! He's Santa. Don't right. start like Right, would that's you bad. like to carry on doing this till it boils? Yeah, so Just stir it till it boils. Oh, can you smell that? Can you smell the aroma of the cookie? It's oh, wafting up. I thought it Come on, professional chef, head, professional. Can you smell it? No, it's your backside. Let the Stoking. viewers know how lovely the food is, that it smells nice. Mm, yeah, I do like that. Smell too. comes out with the heat, actually. So it's I'm going right. to add a bit more salt just because it's. You don't need salt. You got salt in the packet mix with that. You do not need to add anything else, so it'll be bad for you. Some of you love the salt, though, don't they? No, but too much salt is not good for the heart of that. There we go. Add to the flavour. Oh, look at that. Do not worry. Oh! That's not the job we used to do in a minute anyway. What's that? You've got to mash the potato. Let's do that next. Mash the potato down, just press it, and it will come out. Yeah, that one's not too strong. So keep going, look, it will Hello, come out. Hello, you don't have little... muscles, I ain't got muscles. Yeah, keep hold of it or it will break. I know that from experience when I've mashed potatoes with it. Oh my <coughs> god, this is this stick, or what you call it, like a pole stick. It's a potato masher. It's just a bit of a cheap one. Buy one, get one for you, probably won't. Well, this sauce is coming on nice. It's thickening up and the aroma, and the vegetables are beginning to soften. Oh god. I'm going to use two hands for this one. If you've got a cheap one, buy a metal one. This is plastic. Carrots don't need to be cooked too long here because the oven will heat them later. Let's have a look closer. If that's not doing too well, you can use a fork to soften it. Yeah, I think this is all right. Actually, yeah. Ah, 
Oh, now I'm making a mess. What? Yeah, this sauce is going nice and thick in this gravy. Oh, what a mess. What a plonker. Add a little bit of tomato puree to give it a bit more of a tomato flavour. Well, I, I think, think that's pretty much ready. I don't know about you guys, but that looks bad, doesn't it? You have to add a bit of margarine and. Um, oh, margarine now, are we? Margarine and milk. Oops, you've made a bit of a mess. Of, get yourself a wooden spoon, Dominic. Yes. Get yourself a wooden spoon. Yeah. You don't want any lumps in the mashed potato. That's not really margarine, don't we? Margarine and milk. Right, so if you get a wooden spoon. There you go, have some milk. This is doing lovely. We just started the process of getting rid of the lumps and mashing it. Yeah, how much margarine do you need? Now, get? add um, like a dollop on each side. About that, maybe a little bit more. That's, that's enough, that's plenty of margarine. Yeah, we'll be all right with that. Okay, the milk. You're just going to add again a little dollop like that, maybe a bit more. There you go. Oh, yeah. Well, you're going to need more milk for tea, I think. Yeah. Right. right. Now, take advantage of the heat and let the margarine, if you spread the margarine about, it will, it will melt. But make sure it's spread evenly. If you hold the handle, oh, me. whip it up till it's nice and firm. Like, pretend you're making angel delights. God. To be honest, I'm looking forward to have this now. Right, that's it. I'm going to carry on stirring this until we're done. Right, would you like... Next thing is switch this mince off now because it's pretty much there. I'm going to need a bit more milk in this potato, Dominic. Yeah. If I use all the milk, would you pop up the shop, please? Get me another pint, for tea. Yeah, I'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, look, look. There you go. So I'm going to put this camera down now. We're running out of milk, so I'm going to show you how to put this Just in now. Make it a bit softer. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! The camera's gone! Let's take two. There we go. Joking, it's not sick. It's nice. There you go. And then make sure it's all nice and flat. Yep, looks alright. Okay, yep. Now sometimes the potato doesn't sit very well on here. Um, it can begin to splodge in and melt in. But it still tastes nice regardless. So we're going to just let that cool down a little bit before we add the the potato to it. Yeah. Is that it for now? That's it. Come back in about five minutes and add the potato topping. Yeah. Let's get this on. Here we go. The final bit. So do it nice and no a spoonful at a time. Like that. That's it. And do it all over it evenly because it will try and sink. That's it. Try and fill the gaps. So like some over that side. God. That's it. Bit over there and there. Just spoon it on, you'll get a chance to level it out after a little bit there. A little bit in this corner. Oops. We get away. <laughs> right. A bit more on the edges there. There's a gap over there as well. Right, make sure you've got all the potato on there. Now then, best thing to do yeah. is to now use a fork to level it. And can you see how the fork is making patterns? Yeah. Go all over it, levelling it down, and you can use the fork to make patterns on it. Yep. Let's do it all the way around. Yep, but you've still got some lines to do there. That's it. All the way around.
And that's it. And just for a little bit of effect, you got this seasonal paprika and pepper sauce. Let's just put a little bit, it's mainly pepper. Just put a little bit on there. Just give it a bit of extra flavour. It's more like black pepper and that. Never share in one spot. Please, thank you. If, you. if you like this sort of flavour, peppers and all that, this is the one. Look at that. That's it. Is that finished now? Yep, yeah, that's finished. Oh, we've got to put it in the oven for half an hour, but we've still got the apple crumble to make. And that's separate for you now. Right, okay. Oh, so, I see in a bit. What I would recommend, oh, you're going to put it in the oven. Yeah. Put it on, um, no, you don't need to cook it yet. Wait for the crumble. Oh, right, so that goes in. So if you pull one of the baking trays out. Right, yeah. Take the shelf thing out of it. Yep. In there, put it in the oven. Right, that's it. Ooh. And then, and that is your shepherd's pie. Yeah, and it will go in at 200 for about half an hour. From now, yeah. Not yet. Oh. Wait till dad gets here and then we'll turn it on. Daddy's coming. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed that recipe looking, but I'm going to show you at the end.